garlic and onion um, mm. harden some of the expression of the other spices? So yes, when you say it's very it's, much, it's, it's over overpowering. Huh. It overpowers the, the 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 fragrance of the other spices. Yeah, like uh, cloves or um, you know any other elaichi the the elaichi cardamom. Cardamom, mm -hmm. yeah. So and it's also quite hard to digest, which is. Um, it's, it's something, it's funny when I have Mediterranean students in my classes and I talk about how, um, you know, mm -hmm. well firstly we don't use it, I don't use it in my kitchen garlic and onion at all except when I'm making non-Kashmiri food mm. and that in, in Ayurvedically there's sometimes yeah. foods, right, that you yes. don't eat, onion, yes. onion you're is not supposed to eat it during all the, the time. summer, yeah. uh, it's very heating, heating, yeah. yeah. But every culture has their own interpretation of, of wellness and you know, that comes mm. through as well. Yes, right? because I mean Indian food, even in the hot areas, they cannot cook without uh, garlic and onion, yeah. even in Rajasthan. Yeah. And even red chilies, which are supposed to be very heating, yeah. they eat a lot of the red chilies. Yeah. So that also kills uh, any infection in the tummy. It's a very good... Uh, mm, Protector, like it's like an, a natural antibiotic. Anti, yes, like immunity. Yes. Yeah. 